I go through cycles um, as I deconstruct my faith. And sometimes I'm not even in the mood to think about religion. And sometimes it just hits me. So yesterday was one of those times. It all happened because of thinking about the Bible account of Jesus and the woman taken in adultery. And at the same time, thinking about conditional love versus unconditional love and conditional promises versus unconditional promises. This will probably end up a series. I don't know how quickly they'll go together because I'm still thinking about this, but let's start. For those of us who grew up with Mormon seminary, we learned about the if-then nature of the Abrahamic covenant, basically of any covenant that you make with God. They called it a covenant, but it's actually a conditional promise. So then I posed this question, is there such a thing as an unconditional promise? And I found an article that said, yes, an unconditional promise is not if-then. An unconditional promise is because therefore. And I was trying to understand, but the author's Jesus-y, Jesus-y, I want to keep you with Jesus thing kind of put me off. I've been sold things for people with self-interested purposes. So I could only take so much of what this article writer was saying. So I kept searching and I stumbled upon something very interesting. There's such a thing in the banking world as an unconditional promise. Now look at this, look at this. That is not the Mormonism or Christianity I was raised with. I think that might be, oh, universalism. Hmm, that's the big bad naughty. People who want to be better than other people can't have that. And here's the mind blower about an unconditional promise in the banking world. It is considered as being paid so much that it's entered into the ledger books at, at a bank as you know being deposited it's paid that would be congruent with this uh saved by grace kind of stuff that the mormon church has rejected because they teach you know you're saved after all you can do you have to still pay in and i remember boy k packer uh the mediator film in seminary that also gives you the impression that when jesus pays your debts he pays for all of it but that's not what's practiced in the Mormon church. You are always and forever with an account owing, always trying harder to be a little better. Never, as the other Christians say, never resting in the blood. You cannot rest in the blood as a Mormon. So I've established point one for myself. Christianity and Mormonism is based on conditional promises.